Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the very nice Davy Jones theme. Okay, so here we go. So, give you a preview of what you're going to learn today's lesson. It goes like this. Give you a preview of that section. Anyway, let's go ahead and learn it. Okay, look, can we see all the keys? Yeah, we can just see the very highest note in this song, the D right here, okay? Barely on the edge of the string. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn it. So right hand, okay, so it starts on the D here. Middle C is here for reference. We'll go up an octave to this C. Okay, start on the D right here. Okay, we're gonna break this lesson up into four parts so it's easier to learn. So the first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the D, E, F, G, A, up to C, B flat, A, and that is the right hand for this first part. Okay, one more time for this first part. So it goes like this, goes D, E, F, G, A, up to C, B flat, A. And that is the right hand for this first part, okay? So yeah, remember with this in mind, the two hands are, uh, is actually pretty simple because the left hand is four chords, but don't worry because the four chords are all D minor chords, the left hand, so it's D minor, which is D, F, A. So we have four of these chords, so two, three, four, okay? So yeah, this is D minor, look at it, because it's all white notes, okay? So it's easy to remember. Okay, with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So remember in this song, always count in triple time, which is always in like one, two, three, one, two, three. Always count like this throughout the song, and it should be very simple for you to play it, okay? So go like to check it out. So D and D minor together. F and D minor together. A and D minor together. A and D minor together. Just like that. Okay, and that is the first part. Okay, so one more time, so it goes like this. Okay, we're gonna firstly do the block chord and melody version like this first, and then at the end of the lesson, I'll tell you the pattern, okay? So yeah, it just goes like this, together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three. And that is the first part of this yeah, section, okay? So yeah, anyway, let's move on to the second part. Right hand continues, it goes A, B flat, C, and then the high D, which barely you can see on the screen, B flat A, and then G A. And that is the right hand for the second part, okay? So one more time for this right hand for the second part, so it goes like this, goes A, B flat C, D, B flat A, G A. And that is the right hand for the second part, okay? So once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are pretty similar. It's mostly D minor chords, except the second chord is C major. But like apart from that, all of the other chords are D minor. So it goes D minor is the first chord, D, F, A once again. Okay, and then the second chord here is C major, which is C, E, G. Once again, it's all white note chord. And then the third and fourth chord are both D minor. Okay, so these four chords in mind, so D minor, C major, and two D minor chords. The two hands together goes like this. So A and D minor together, so it goes together, C and C major together, A and D minor together, A and D minor together, just like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three, and that is the second pop. Okay, so so far the two parts we've learnt will be played back to back like this. Check it out. So it goes to go. And that is that. Alright, so that is that. Moving on to the third part. Third part right hand continues. It goes B flat. C, A, down to F, G, up to B flat, A, F, and then down to D. Okay, and that is the right hand for this um, third part. Okay, so one more time, so it goes B flat, C, A, down to F, G, up 
to B flat A F, down to D. And that is the right hand for this third part. The left hand, we have four chords here, a bit harder because these four chords are all different chords and changing and stuff. So the four chords are, check it out, is G minor, which is G, B flat, D. Second chord is D minor, which is D, F, A. Third chord is E diminished, just three notes, E, G, B flat. And then the fourth chord back to D minor again, D, F, A. Yes, so with these four chords in mind, so G minor, D minor, E, diminished and D minor the two hands together goes like this B flat and G minor together A and D minor together G and E diminished together F and D minor together like that that's it so together two three together two three together two three together two three like that and that is that. Moving on to the fourth, or actually before we do that, let's play the three parts we've learned back to back. So it just goes like this. Okay, now moving on to the fourth and last part of this section. All right, and continues to E, down to C, down to A, up to E, D, and D again. And that's it. One more time for this fourth part for the right hand. So it goes like this, it goes E, down to C, down to A, up to E, D, and D again. And that's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are, the first chord is first inversion of A minor, which is C, E, a. And then the second chord is the same chord, which is first inversion of A minor again. And then the third and the fourth chord are both D minor chords, which is D, F, A, the two of them. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so two first inversion A minor chords, followed by two D minor chords. The two hands together goes like this, goes E and first inversion A minor together. And then A and the next chord together. Like that, it kind of overlaps itself. If you don't want to overlap, you can play the chord an octave below. But regardless, right hand continues, and then D and D minor together, and the last one of this world together, like that. And that's it. One more time. So it's together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three, together, two, three, and that's it. So back to back, the four parts of this lesson would be play like this. Check it out. So it goes. That's it, okay? So once you've got this melody and block chord version very good, very even, very smooth in like terms of the notes and also the rhythm, then you can think about doing the pattern, which requires a tiny bit of hand independence, but it's not hard pattern at all. So for all of the chords, you want to do this pattern. So for example, the D minor, right? You want to play the root note for the first beat, and then the higher two notes for the second and the third beat. Hold it, like that. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three, etc. Okay, and for the C major, same thing. So root note followed by high two notes. So one, two, three. Okay, so even the E diminishes will be one, two, three, etc. Okay, so yeah, apply this to all of the um, uh, chords and then we'll be we sound something like this. Check it out. Nice and mysterious. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, okay? So the other sections, you can like, you know how in the song, uh, it has like these loud sections, you can actually do arpeggios on the left hand to make it loud. You can even do the right hand octaves to make it big as well. Something like this, I'll make it up on the spot, so like this.
yeah, something like that, okay? But anyway, yeah, a lot of stuff you can do with it. So that's why I teach this kind of method so you have the freedom to kind of make up your own arrangements and everything from like improvisations and everything. But anyway, if you want to learn more advanced stuff, learn more advanced music theory, etc. How to improvise, how to read sheet music, how to play by ear, etc. Then also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn piano from me. But anyway, uh, you can actually use my piano tutorials if you don't want to use my, uh, uh, if you don't want to learn those more advanced stuff, you can just simply use my YouTube tutorials because um, those are the song tutorials teaching melody and chords. I have so many of them. I literally have like thousands and thousands and thousands of piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from on this channel. So a lot of stuff for you to enjoy here. And if you are Pirates of the Caribbean um, enthusiasts, I also made the main theme teaching that as well. So if you want to learn that, go ahead. You can search it up and yeah, you can learn it for yourself as well. Okay, it's the one that goes... Uh that one, okay? So, uh, he's a pirate, that one. The awesome, catchy song. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and See you next time.